Welcome to your fatherland, kids. Your father bought this house so that whenever we decide to move to Nigeria, we can always have a place to stay. I hope you like it. Yes, Mom. Good. As you can see, the place is a mess and therefore we'll have a lot of cleaning up to do before I go and get the rest of the bags from the car. So, excuse me while I get the work into this. Put your bags down. We have a lot of work to do. Benita is trying to say is that we can't finish cleaning this house. We need help. We can't do this alone. You're right. You're right, Cynthia. If not, I'm going to get through. All right, all right. I've heard all of you, okay? Listen to me. I'm going to have Friday 
place a notice and then you all will help me select someone who you think can work under my supervision okay okay so for now i'm going to order some food for you why don't you go to actually what we want to eat i don't need to ask you what you want i already know what you want darling i'll be right back First person. What's your name? My name is Doka. Do you have any formal experience? No, they be person. Yeah. Please use the gates. Next person. You know, get that person way. of this for this place. Look at this grass. Hey, use that the gates. Next person, please come in. Okay, thank you. We'll call you back later. Don't we'll call you back. Don't worry. That's the door. We'll call you. Next person. Done. Um, what's your name? My name is Joy. Do you have any formal experience? Yes, I get better experience for this work. I wait till they bought me for this. Um, we'll call, we'll call you back, back later. Yeah. We'll call you back. Now we'll call me back. Yes, 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 yes. of course. Don't worry. So I feel good now. Yes, yes. yes. Next person. What's your name? Hi. My name is Kaite. I come from a private state. My parents are from village. I just come to come find a job. I try, 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 try. Today I tire. I need to get money to buy water. What my mom say, if I get this job, I will just pack all the money, go give them for village. Not be smart, you know. I try, try to see me. No water, no money. I just this sweat. So people just um, get Thank like you. Eh? Mm, we'll call you back. You go call me? Yes, yes, yes. We'll call, call you back. back. I beg, I beg you on a number. No, no don't worry. Problem. Problem. We'll call you back. Call you back. You'll call me. Yes. yes. Correct people. You say you go call me? Yes. yes. Okay, thank you. Next person. Um, what's your name? Madu. I don't know anyone. What's your name? Uh, my name is Caroline. You want to call me? Caro. Yes, you call her Caro. Do you have any formal experience in this job? Experience. You don't know, need experience to take care of people with the ass and uh, the ass now. I don't need experience. See, we can tell you. For my ass, now let me do all the ass work. Yes. And nobody from us don't complain, say, eh, Carol, you know, not do this one, you know, do this. nobody, all of them, they all day okay. Now we get to have Most importantly, can you cook? Sure. Cook! Hey! Now me like this, they call on point. Yes. Any kind of way you want. You all call the name. You don't appear for your table. Let me be that. Your okay, point. that's very good. But if you were offered this job, mm, will you be willing to stay where you're working? Ah. Hey, if my employment people say I fit to stay for their ass, no problem. But if they still say make us they come from my ass, I don't still get problem with them because 8 a.m. sharp sharp. I don't reason. In fact, before I wake up, soon I go. Carol, you hired. Huh? You hired. You hired me. And yes, you'll be starting right away. Like, like that, I get the job now. Go get your bags and be staying with us in this big house. Eh? Hey, my children, sell now fine. You'll be like butter. You'll be like a uh, mayonnaise. You'll be like salad cream. You'll be fine. Thank you, thank you. I thank you very well. Thank you. I'm me. I thank you now. Thank you, ma. I hope you don't have any questionable characters. Ah, I thought I thought it was that. Me, I did go shop. I'm sure I'm not getting back to her. Thank you. Thank you.
right. Like it's I've shown you everywhere, right? Yes, ma. Great. As you can see, the house is very dirty and therefore you need to clean up as soon as possible. Yes, ma. All the working tools are in the kitchen right there. Don't hesitate if you have any questions, okay? Thank you, ma. Right. The kitchen Thank is you, right there. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Nigeria. Just two days ago. Oh my word, this is good. And you didn't bother to call me? I'm so sorry. This is so unfair. I'm so sorry. I was just trying to get myself together before making social calls. I forgive you. <laughs> <laughs> nice to see you. So, um, are you going home or what? Yes, I just finished shopping, so I'm going home. Oh, that's good because um, I wanted to shop, but it's okay. I, I'll do that some other time because I'm going home with you to see those princesses. Yes, they will be so happy to see you. I know, I'm happy to see them. Come, let's go. Let me go read. Let me help you. Come, come, come. <laughs> This to paradise. You like it? I like. Thank you. Oh my god. Sweet, wonderful, nice, lovely place you have. Thank you. Whew. So how are you, my friend? I am good. I can see that. Yes. So what about you? How's Nigeria? Ah? Uh, coping as usual. I mean, as you can see, we're coping. So tell me, why did you return? Oh, it's Ghana not favoring you any longer. Of course not. Ghana is good. Ghana is very good. I just decided it was time for the kids to return to their fatherland. And it was time for me to also take over my husband's business. You know, when you want something done right, you need to do it yourself. Yeah, you're right. So right. Okay. And talking about the kids, where are they? The kids. Oh, that's them coming. <laughs> There they are. Welcome back home. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Look at the baby of yesterday. She's all grown. Yes, I know. This morning, welcome. You live in Nigeria too. Yes, I live here too. I'm from Nigeria. Oh, I see. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh my god, they are so grown. They are. You remember how much she was a baby? Yeah. yeah. Just, look, just look at how cute she is. Mom, we'll be in our room. Sure. <laughs> Take care of you. Yeah. Wow, right? the kids are growing <laughs> smart and brilliant. Of course, why would they not be smart and brilliant when their mom is very smart and brilliant? Oh, you can say that again. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Can I get you something to drink? Um, don't you have the house help? Uh, I can do it myself. <laughs> really? Yeah. No. Ah. Why did that, that Auntie Maureen follow us in Nigeria? She will always follows us because she loves leeching on people. Why else? She likes to come to people's house and come act as if it's her own. The thing I hate the most is that she'll come to her house and start demanding on what to eat like it's her own house. Anytime people come to her house, she'll say, sorry, my house is dry. Dry in her mind. Huh. But I kind of like her shell. Hmm. Yeah, I don't like her at all. What about you, Joanita? I don't like her and I don't hate her either. Just choose one. 
Oh my god. What's that your house helps name again? Karo, why? Uh, you need anything? Don't worry. Karo! Karo! Yes. Um, I wanted to prepare me fried rice and um, salad. If there's goat meat, fry it. But if there's no goat meat, just use chicken or oh, turkey. Uh, what a gizzard, snail. In fact, just fry all of them and bring it. I'll make my choice. Eh. Ma, there is no. Eh, you know, it's it, it's fine. You can go. Okay. I'm so sorry, Marie, but you know, we just moved in and I haven't done any shopping for the kitchen. But I've ordered something for us to eat though. Okay, ah, you should have told me now. Yes. Ah. I hope the order will be delivered soon. It's alright, it'll be here soon. Okay, <laughs> if you say so. My friend, my friend. <laughs> See, you have told me the business and the family reasons why you returned. But the thing you have not told me yet is the personal reason. I don't understand. I don't know what you mean. What could be more personal than family and business? What other reason should I have for returning back to Nigeria? Okay. You know, the last time we spoke, you talked about um, remarrying. Is that part of the reason for your returning? <laughs> that. Uh, well, yeah, kinda. I knew it. <laughs> but listen, for me, that is actually second you right now. You know, I need to take my time to look out for the right person. And before yeah. I do that, I need to get settled in first. Okay. But yeah, I am ready to remarry. I know. <laughs> I just hope that my kids would understand. But you're doing it for their own good. I mean, they will not see the necessity of a father figure until there is a man in their life. You're right. Get me. I'll talk to them, but I'm hopeful they will understand. They don't have a choice. It's your <laughs> life, and you still have it to live. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> when is? <clears throat> when is the other coming? <laughs> Yes. I hope there's no problem. Um, <clears throat> no, sweetie, there's no problem. I just want to talk to you about something. Something very important. I've been meaning to talk to you about this for a very long time, but I just don't know how you would take it. Mom, you can tell us anything. Yes, Mom, you can tell us. Okay. So, um, I'm actually planning on remarrying. Wait, what? Why, Mom? Is it necessary? We're all happy together, ain't we? Why do you need another husband? Yes, Dad is dead, but I don't see what another man coming into our life now will do for us. No man can come and live with us in this house. So, Mom, don't even think about doing anything like that. Yes, Mom, I know how you feel. I know how you like going out with your husband, like most women do. But we won't allow a stranger to come into our house. So, Mom, if you want to go ahead, we don't support you. Replace dad with another man. It's a stranger. Someone who will come into our house and tell us what to do. I want to allow that. Come on, girls. Don't you think we need a father figure like other kids? Um, 
I, I, you know how I miss how dad used to drop us to school and then pick us up sometimes. And how we used to take us out for picnics too. Don't you think we need a man in this house to do all those things? Sorry, Benita, but I don't need a total stranger. I don't need one. You can go ahead. All the happiness I need, I can get that from mom and you, my sisters. I agree with you, Cynthia, but nothing can change my mind. I've said my own. But I just hope you guys can change your mind. I know you girls. I know you girls were not happy with what I said to you yesterday. And I'm sorry if I upset you in any way. Mom, you know we cannot stay angry at you for so long. You know we love you. And that is why we're here to make you happy. So relax, okay? Mm -hmm. Thank you so much, my darlings. But, can we visit the subject again? Go ahead, Mom. We're listening to you. Okay. You are all... Okay. You're my dear daughters. And I've come to realize that we need a father figure in this house. You're all girls, and we need a man to guard you rightly. Mom, I understand what you're saying. I think what you're saying is true. No way, I won't allow that. I won't allow a stranger to be my father. Same here, Mom. No man can come here and tell us what to do in our father's house. No way, Mom. But do you know that when... No, Mom, you know we won't agree. But can't you at least just listen to what she has you to say? You can listen to her after breakfast. That is if she has nowhere going to. As for me, I want to finish my food first. jump out from behind anything. Remember, I, I have a strong stomach but a very weak heart. Hi! Afternoon, how are you? Um, listen, Greg, I have a few things to take care of before we leave. So whatever meetings we have, just reschedule it for later in the evening, okay? Okay, ma. Um, what about the meeting with the investors? So what's it been about? Two hours? Oh yeah, that's true. Um, can you call them and find out if a conference call will do the magic? If yes, we can set it up here. Okay, ma, I'll do just that and let okay. you know what we agree on. Sure, I'm ready. Sorry, girls. To replace dad with. Will you shut up? Can't I hold a meeting with a man? You know what? You're going to follow me to my office and then you will ask each and every man I work with if they are the one I'm replacing. The man I came here with is my personal assistant. His name is Greg. I'm so sorry. 
I'm honestly very sorry I raised my voice at you. But you girls are pushing me and it's not right. Sorry, Mom. Sorry, Mom. <laughs> anyway, that reminds me. There is a guy I want you to meet. I have arranged for the both of you to have dinner together. Maureen, how have you arranged for me to have dinner with a guy I don't even know when I didn't tell you to do any such thing? Uh, oh no, what's wrong with that? I'm your friend. I just want you to be happy. I don't know. I still haven't been able to convince my children on the subject. I don't. I honestly don't think I, 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 I'm ready. I didn't say you should do something with him. I didn't say you should have something to do with him. Just have dinner with him, and with time, you get to know him better. That's all. I mean, it's not like I'm... It's say okay. I will go. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you'll be there too. Of course, I'll be there. If I won't be there, how will you get to meet him? That's true. Just calm down. Okay. Leave this to me. I got this. I know you got this. <laughs> so what does he look like? Oh, he's cute. Him, he's a little bit bald. Oh, he's bald-headed. Yeah. Really? He's light-skinned. Oh, he's cute. Okay. You, you light so I can just ignore the bald. Yeah. Hey. What are you guys watching? We're searching for Lion King. They're gonna air today. Aren't you girls tired of Lion King? My best, Mom. But, Mom, you know my favorite is Tom and Jerry. And mine is Pussy and the Beast. Yes, I know that very much. So, listen, um, I'll be going out for dinner with a friend of mine and her friend. So, I'm gonna be away for a little bit. Wow, well, that sounds nice, Mom. Such dinner is only for adults. I would have said you should allow us to follow you. Wait, you don't mind me going out for dinner, right? No, Mom. There's nothing bad in having dinner with friends or colleagues that you know. Mom, if you're not going to be too late, can you buy suya for me? Of course. Of course I'll get you suya. You like too much meat. Then when they bring you, don't eat. <laughs> Why? Is it for you alone? Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. I'm going to get suya for everybody, okay? I love you and make sure you don't stay up too late. I like this dress, but it kind of looks inappropriate. What do you think? It looks like a wedding dress, right? Yeah. What about this one, this yellow dress? Looks nice. It's very formal, very decent. No, mom. I don't like yellow colors. I mean, look at it. No, it looks nice. Mom, look at this dress. I think it will look better on you. Yeah, but... No, that looks like I'm going to church. No, definitely not. No. But this what? one, yes. What about the black dress trays? Mom, what are you doing? I don't know. It just, it just looks too long. No, Mom. It's the best dress to wear for a dinner. I mean, it's almost how it makes you look sexy. Really? <laughs> the last thing I want to do is to look sexy. So, are you saying Mrs. K.I.A.? No, we do one. You can call me whatever you want to call me. All I know, it looks beautiful and more, like Benita said. Yes, it does. Thank you so much. Thank you for making me, for getting me the best choice. Thank you. Black it is. <laughs> So, 
that was how Bob and I became friends. Wow. <laughs> That's an interesting story. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, us way back. I told him already, you know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Sorry, um, I have to say this, my boss. Okay, sorry. Hello, sir. Um, yes. Yes, I have the files. Uh, they're at home. Okay, I will just um, leave where I am and go home, pick the files. Come meet you wherever you are and give it to you, sir. Yes, sir. Um, are you okay? My boss just called. He's traveling tomorrow morning. And he needs the files he gave me to work on. So I have to go home, pick the files and meet him at the address he will send to me shortly. Wow, I'm so sorry. I just, I have to go. Uh, you know, I don't have my car here. I brought you out. Oh, it's fine. I will just grab a taxi and... Are you sure you'll be fine? Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll be fine. I'm sure? Yeah. Okay. Uh, oh, my food. Yeah. Um, just make it take away. I mean to go. Whatever, don't talk food this, we got this English. Just pack them. On my way out, I'll pick it. Okay. I'll yeah. be safe, huh? Yeah. Okay. I'll, I'll be okay. And, uh, my drink. <laughs> You'll be good. Okay. Hey. Mm -hmm. um, there's something on So it's just the two of us. Well, um, he is Maureen's friend, and by extension, my friend too. He's stranded, and um, I offered him our home so he can spend the night. Is that okay? Mom, it's okay, Mom. Thank you. Um, I'm going upstairs. Um, Carol, um, can you get the second guest room ready? And when you're done, show him where it is, okay? Yes, ma'am. Excuse me, ma'am. Excuse me, I need to freshen up my What is it? What is wrong? You're the problem, Mom. Why would you bring in a stranger just because he's stranded? You don't know him. He's not your friend. I'm surprised at what you just did. You didn't even bother consulting us because we don't matter anymore. It's okay. Good night, Mom. But please, consider our safety first. Benita! Benita! Hello. So, it seems that our plan is going to work. <laughs> yes, I am currently in the house to speak. Just leave, leave, leave that to me. Just leave that to me. You know what I mean?
morning, darling. Ooh. How are you? How's your night? Hi, Mom. Good. Mom, we want to talk to you about that man that came yesterday. We heard his conversation on the phone with somebody last night. He said that he's already in our house and that his plan is working. Mom, that man is not a good person. If you're planning on doing anything with him, please stop. He's not who you think he is. <clears throat> is this your new plan? Huh? Last night you spoke very ill of him and this morning you already have a plan? I have known this insult in all my life. To think I was in a house where this had killed me Now I know better. Just little kids. Please, Bob. Bob. your sisters to speak bad about a person just because you don't like that person you now teach your sisters to lie what the hell did you learn this character from certainly not from this house and you are you both robots that whatever she tells you to do you will do without questioning whether or not it's right Benita you disappoint me Okay, it's okay, it's okay. Calm down, Help me talk to Bob. Um, help me apologize to him. They are just children. And I'm pretty sure they said that either because they don't like Bob or because they felt as though he was come to take their father's place. I don't know, but they're children. Hello, come on. Relax, okay? Just relax. I'll, I'll talk to him. 
Remember, I'm the one who made the arrangement for you guys to have dinner, right? I will fix this, okay? But you just have to keep your children in check, okay? This should never repeat itself again. Definitely, it would not repeat itself. I already cautioned Benita, and I told her to warn her sisters never to do this again. So definitely, they would never do that again. I, that I'm 100% sure of. I know Bob must be very angry with you right now, but I'll talk to him, it's okay. Just chill, okay? Relax. He left the house really upset. Like, you should have just looked. Just don't, don't worry, I'll fix it. Trust me, I'm, I'm the fixer, okay? You know what I can do, right? Just relax, okay? Cheryl! Oh, he was very upset when he left the house. Yeah. I can't say. Um, and I ran a missando on Sonyai. Exactly. No, that's not how the shoulder is supposed to be. It's like high. Uh huh. Exactly. See, what do you, if there's anything wrong, I just my family will go in on send them on my, and I will just alter it. Okay. I found out after that that wasn't what you wanted. Okay, cool. No problem. Alright. Bye. Yes, come in. Mom, we're sorry for offending you and Uncle Bob. I promise it's not happen again. We won't do what will make you angry again, Mom. We're sorry, please. It's fine. You know that I cannot stay angry with you guys for way too long. I just don't want it to repeat itself. I don't ever want to see you guys do that again. Thank, Thank you, Mom. Mom. Get up, okay. <laughs> get up How are you girls doing? I'm um, well, fine. We're sorry for the bad things we said to you the other day that made you angry. Ah, it's okay. We're friends already. Right? Yes. Yeah. Yes, we'll be inside. Yes, we'll be inside. Alright. See you guys. I'm doing well, kids. Thank you. <sighs> so, you're no longer upset with them? No, I'm not. No. We are friends now. You know what? As a matter of fact, I should go catch up with them. See you shortly. So, what are we going to do to that Bob of a guy? Oh, Uncle Bob, can you see us? I came to see the smartest of you girls. Duh, that is me, Cynthia. Don't mind her, it's me, Juanita. Nah. It's none of you little chihuahuas. Little flowers. There's something you, Benita. You're the one that listens to other people's conversations and you run off to your mother like a church rat. Complain, right? Uncle Bob, why would you call my sister a church rat? I'm gonna tell my mom. No, you're not going to tell your mother anything. You know why? 
And if you do, mommy's gonna get angry. Because if you tell your mother, she is going to make you and you and you apologize to me over and over and over again. Do you understand? I don't like you. I don't like you too. I'll listen and listen carefully, you little mosquitoes. You better get used to this face. You look very well. Because if you don't, your mother is going to make you like me like a fuss, and there's nothing that any of you can do about it. Do you understand? I don't know what you want from my mom. You're able to keep us quiet, but my mom is smarter than you think. Pause this. Hey, you. What are you doing? thinking that way. You need to stop seeing them as children. Besides, what you're doing for them is for their own good. But sending them away to a boarding school has always been my greatest fear. You need your life back. You have the right to love and be loved in return. But with these kids around, I mean, you will never move on. They will keep making you hold back your feelings for any man that comes around you. But first, you need to tell yourself, yes, me sending them to a boarding school is the right thing to do. It's a very good idea. You need to say it to yourself. Say it to yourself and believe it. Okay. I'll think about it. But I would need to speak to them about it to see if they would like it. No child would like it, okay? But you just have to tell them, this is what I want, and this is how I want it, this is what I want you to do. It's for your own good. They will understand. Trust me. You need to just stop babysitting them. They, they are grown. I mean, they are big now. I mean, they are made in, in lots of places feed the home. You're in charge here. They are not. Okay? Guys, mom is here. Mom, are you okay? Yes, um, fine. Um, <clears throat> I've come to inform you girls that you'll be starting school soon and um, you'll be staying at a boarding house. So I'm going to go to the supermarket and buy all um, the requirements. So just prepare your mind for it. Are you sending us away from home? Even Jonita? Are you sending her to?
So, um, <clears throat> I hope you like it. It's okay. Um, I thought we were going to stay in the same room. Right. Um, you're going to be staying here for now. I have my reasons. And what are your reasons? We're in the same house together. The kids are not around. And yet we're in separate rooms. Um, well, you know, Bob, there, there are some things one should respect, especially memories that have been I understand. I am sorry for asking. You have a good day, okay? said that you, your feelings for me are not as strong as my feelings for you. No. Or maybe you just don't have feelings for me. No, Bob, that's not it. It's just that it takes a lot for me to get this far. It takes a lot for me to go this far. And with the beautiful memories I have of my husband. I oh, yeah. understand. But you know that if this is going to work, we need to make sacrifices. and convince her. See, only sleeping with Beatrice will make her committed to you. Or maybe allow you to move into her room. The only way to get close to our target is by living in her bedroom. But I can go into her room when I want to. And then you'll be in a hurry. You won't get what you want. Don't worry. I know what to do. And then do it fast. You don't have all the time in the world for to waste. I, I don't understand you guys. Ah, it's not like you now. Don't show my hand and beg. Mm. 
Why are you holding back, my friend? Listen, you need to live your life. Have fun. Make yourself happy. You're not old, girl. I know. It's just... I think it's all in my mind and what I feel for. See, you need to let old things stay in the past. Even the Bible said it. Old things shall pass away and new things shall come. Bob is your new thing right now. Have fun with Bob. Or do you want to chase Bob away? It's not that. It's just that... You know, Maureen, I promised my daughters never to allow any man to take their father's place. And Bob is I... not coming to take Andy's place. He can't. Just allow Bob spice up your life and make you happy. That's all. Come on, grab what's close to you and use it to your own advantage, baby girl. Stop dulling. Stop acting like one old woman like that. See? As fine as you are like this, you're just allowing this beauty to waste. I don't understand her. Hey, Carol, eat that thing. Go to the kitchen and get me the tray. I want to raise your own thing. Come upstairs. Is Madame sick? Are you sick? Huh? Catch your temperature. My friend, what do you say? Give me three days. Ask me for this question. Yes, sir. Hurry up now! Uh. Times like this, you're not supposed to talk too much. Just enjoy your breakfast. Oh, do you want me to feed you? Come on, I'm not sick. Uh, you don't have to be sick for me to feed you. Did you make this? Let me see. I did. It's bread and tea, but yeah, the, the egg. Well, I mean, I fried it and spiced it up nicely with some salt on the side and a little pepper to taste nice. <laughs> oh wow. Okay. Hope you like it. I hope so too. Let me taste it. Hmm. It's really good. <clears throat> Seriously, it really is. It's I've never tasted an omelette this spicy. Spicy in a good way or... Spicy in a good way. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it had to be good. <laughs> yeah, seriously. It's... I'm glad you like it. I, I like it. Well, thank you. You're welcome.
You look beautiful. Thank you. Yeah. So how are you? Well, uh, fine. Well, hey, um, I'll be stepping out later this evening to see a friend. But I might stay a night or two. Hope you don't mind. Right. Um, <clears throat> no, I don't mind. Oh my god, I'll miss you. Very much. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you. 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 Let you miss me while I miss you while freshening up. Okay? Okay. Yeah. So I'll be in the living room missing you. <laughs> that was the plan. <laughs> but just, you know. Um, um okay. Yeah, just make sure you miss me a little bit more than normal. Okay. Mm -hmm. Dinner. <laughs> Madam, I did arrange for the jam and correct a good sister. Okay, okay, we'll make it snappy because Bob wants to go out. Mm -hmm. Okay, ma. Hey, excuse me, ma. Madam, you get one inform me to what I make a young you. Are you up saying no vest for me? What is it? Uh -huh. Madam, as I clean your room, your bathroom, uh -huh. I can't see say a bros Bob, you won't enter your room. Who they search for something? I don't know what they search for. You carry file, you open up, you read this one, you close them. You they search everywhere. Uh, Madam, last last, I can see say you open drawer, you can collect that money where you keep there for house shopping. Are you sure what you're saying? <sighs> Madam, I sure pass anything for this one. I did on point for this one. In fact, I feel you might leave her bet this one. I sure where where. So tell me, how come the money is still here? Ma, truth to God. I know you know how the money take come back there. Because I feel to swim with my liver, say. I see I when he moved the money. Carol, let this be the last time you try something like this. Please. Be warned. Get out of my room. Well, how come now? I think you'll see I see and carry that money. Hey, now when you can go return now. I just a mystery. So you think you would open your cockroach mouth? And my plans would just go to waste like that? Boss, you see the child talk. Shut up! You saw me take that money. And you rushed to your madam to tell her, right? But one thing you did not put into consideration is who you are dealing with. Look at me. Always going one step ahead.
shocked. Oh, so you thought the money just reappeared just like that? <laughs> now listen and listen really good. I am not someone to toy with. One advice. Keep yourself and your nose away from anything that concerns me. Else. I will get you out of this house just the way I got the keys out. Bros, I dare you mash line no. You want mash line for that one no? You know your day on point. Because my mother no agree with you at all for that matter where you talk so. She sent her children to boarding house because of me. And you think she would think twice about sending a church rat like you away from the house? Use your kidney. I expected by now we would be swimming in money. But as usual, you are too slow. Too slow. Well, I'd rather be slow than slowly go to jail. That's the problem with you. You always think worse of every situation. You know what? I'm just a realist. And if I'm not careful, we'll lose everything. Then Kuma, calm down and marry her. <laughs> by so doing, you own everything. Yeah, that wouldn't be a bad idea. Those kids. House help from us, they will just ruin everything. That is why I said get the property papers. Well, I still haven't seen it. So I don't think the papers are in that house. But find it. Find wherever it is. I don't have this patience anymore. I'm losing it. Kai me the go as a big. I go start, see ya. If you say you believe yourself by now for not getting money, and you always be good mechanic. You want to do this too. Naomi be the housekeeper. Mm. Okay. I am Mrs. Benson, the mother of the owner of the service. <laughs> Male! Male, you're welcome. Mm -hmm. Male, sit down. You're welcome. Oh, where, where does I keep her back? Uh, you put her for the first guest room. No worry, our coffee is the place now. Hey, Male, welcome. Thank you. Um, where is uh, Beatrice and the children? Mala don't go work and the children they don't go school. I see. I can see that Beatrice is really, really taking good care of this. Okay, my dear, please uh, fix your room. I want to take my bath. Oh, Mala, you know the shikis. Welcome, Mala. Thank you. Mama, well, well, welcome. Uh, 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 Mama, I, I hope Moto does not disturb you on the road. Uh, no, no. Oh, you're yeah, welcome. I should be the one asking you that question. Who are you? And what are you doing in my son's house? Sorry. Well, Beatrice owns this place. And very soon it's going to be mine. Over my dead body will that happen? Mm. Well, it seems like you're going to be dying very soon. Because I'm going to get married to her. Well, Andrew, I'm going to own this place. Marry what? Yes.
Welcome, Mr. Tyler. Or should I call you Beatrix? <laughs> oh. You, you didn't even tell me you were coming. It's it good to good. see you. Yeah. It is good I did not tell you I'm coming. If not, I would not have met the sacrilege happening in this house. I, I don't understand. What are you talking about? I'm talking about the man you're keeping in my son's house. Oh. Bob. Mm-mm. You're wrong. Um, <clears throat> Mama, you see, um... You see, Bob is, um... Don't even say. He told me everything. How you want to marry him and all that. No, you see, the thing is, it's like... I, I, I know what it is. That you're tired of staying single. After three years, just three years, my son died. And you want to replace him. But the question is, what is the urgency for? Is this how you love him? Is this how you have become that you now keep a man in the house to be servicing you while waiting to make it permanent? Okay, now that is very insulting. This is becoming very insulting. I loved my husband very much. So why are you speaking as if I was waiting for him to die and then move on with my life? Is that not what is happening here? You were actually waiting for him to die. That is why after three years, just three years, you're behaving and feeling as if you're a single girl that your time is passing. Well, yes, Mama. That is your opinion and you're entitled to it. But I'm a woman. And if I want to remarry, then yes, I have very limited time on my hands. And whether or not you like it, I'll make judicious use of it. Late like this, even I see my mother want to do my job this night. Too. Have you been? What happened to your phone? My phone, um, network. 
terrible in that one. Uh, what are you doing out here? Your mother, you know, right? She's a handful. I witnessed it. Where's your car? Oh yeah, my car. Um, it broke down on the, the road, you know, the high the highway. You know, so I parked it in the mechanic workshop. But tomorrow I'll pick it up. <clears throat> What's the matter? Listen, Bob. I don't. I don't know how this might sound, but you have to go back to your house for the time being. See, my mother-in-law is here, and while she's here, you can't be here. I'm just trying to avoid all that drama. But she won't be here for long, so once she leaves, I'll let you know. I just, I just hope you understand. Totally. Thank you. I understand, honey. But we can always meet out here. Oh yeah, sure. Yeah. <laughs> Why not? Thank you. I love you. I love you too. <laughs> No, my dear. Okay. You can go. Thank you, Juan. Good night, Juan. Good night, Juan. Just a minute. My dear. Yes, ma'am. I've not seen my grandchildren since I came. And I know their mother is not in a good mood to answer me now, so you can tell me. Malen, I have to say you know. No. Hey, madam, don't carry the children. Go put for body ass. They did body in school. Body in house? Yes, ma. But my son never wanted them to go to body house. How come Beatrice allowed that to happen? Male, if you ask me, make a reason this matter well, <laughs> I will tell you, say, you get one guy away, then they call uh, Bob Mali and be Bob Whiskey. Male. That guy I know you're pure. You are not pure. Me sure say now because of the guy, nine madam carry those children go put for body ass. So that anytime we ain't come here, ain't go all get time with madam, do you all day together. Me sure say now waiting for some. Mm, I see. And Beatrice allowed that to happen in this house. Okay. I am here now. Let me see how those children will remain in the bottom house. Their grandmother will not allow any form of injustice to be done to them. Hmm? Male, Male, you don't point for this one, no. Ah, me they happy for this way you talk. Ah, I don't miss them now. I don't miss those children. May you all come, may this house they bubble. Male, I happy for this one way you talk. Good night, ma. Not good for us at all. Though. At all. I wonder why we have to face, face one challenge after the other. Where the hell did, did Miss, Mrs. Besson come out from in the first place? <laughs> you see the kind of confidence that woman has. <laughs> Her confidence is not here. And to think that she respects her so much, even as her son is dead. That was a big trouble for us. Mm. So what do we do now? We have to devise a plan to get that woman out of the house at least until we achieve our aim. Hmm. The only plan that we can devise is to get Beatrice to send her away. That would be tricky. You yourself said she respects her a lot, so what makes you think she would listen to me this time? She'll be listening to you all this while. So I believe she would still listen to you again. 
okay. With the level of work I'm doing in this business, my share will increase. My will be back now. To no longer be 60, 40. To now be 30, 70. I'll take the lion's share. That money is more. Eh. No, well, uh, let us get our, our hand on the money first, then we can now talk about all that nonsense. Okay. Alright then. I'll see what I can do. Okay, no problem. Carry me go before you carry the cigar key from inside here. <laughs> discuss with you. I hope there's no problem. No, no, not at all. Since my arrival into this house, we started off on a wrong foot. But as a mother, I want to ask you a simple question. Okay, I'm listening. Why are you so eager to replace my son in your heart? Why do you want to remarry? Mama, you may not like my answer, but I will give it anyway. I want to remarry. Because I want to live. Since Andy died, I've lived for my children, for my family, and my extended family. Right now, I wish to just live for myself. The girls are grown to some extent now. So I need to start living for me, to experience the good things in life and the essence of companionship. Are you saying with Andy you never lived? No. No, Mama, that's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is that while with Andy, Mama, we're focused on having kids. And, and when we were done and it was time for us to raise them, death took him away from me. Mama, it's been three years. Three years, Mama. I've mourned him. I've tried. I think it's time to move on. So she wants you to remain single just because she wants to preserve her son's memory. What's that one now? Well, I see reasons with her. Seriously. I mean, any woman would do the same if they were in her shoes. She just selfish job. And you should chase her away from that house before she will chase away all your husbands to be. No way. No way I'm sending her out of that house. She will leave the house when she decides to leave the house. And whether or not we like it, that is her son's house, and that is my mother-in-law. I respect her way too much to send her out of the house. Then she will continue to meddle in, in your personal life. I'm just saying, chase her away. No way. I won't chase her away. 
she would leave when she decides to leave the house okay so good trying to convince me to chase her away i won't chase her away no that is her son's house beatrice this is trouble you're playing with though fire you're playing with <laughs> your life well three million is all i need and um in three months time i'll pay back its interest three million is a lot of money so I'll try and see if I can make that available. But what do you need that money for? Well, I just uh, want to invest in something big. I see. What about your job? My job? Uh, it remains constant. You know, but uh, an extra box on the side is harder than what we do. That's true. <laughs> um, let me see if I can work something out for you, okay? You should hear from me in a day or two. I love you. You are. Yeah, I'm dressing. So, have you eaten? No, actually, I haven't. Should run out and get something nice for you. That would be nice. Ice cream? Mm, maybe pizza. Oh. Uh, here are the documents you asked for. And then the account officer is working on the money transfer. He says it will be, it'll be ready in a day or two. Okay, that's good, thank you. Then if I may ask Ma, I think you should find out what he wants to invest the money in. Why? Shouldn't I trust him? Far from it, Ma. I just think it's normal you know what he's investing the money in and if he'll get his money back with some profit, of course, or if it's just a scam. Scam? You think he might want to scam me? Oh, not at all, Ma. I, I mean him getting scammed. These days, many people get scammed by all the scammers. It happens on the regular. I think I should call him to find out all the details. His line is not connecting. I'll just call back. Okay. But as I said, the money will clear in a day or two. So I think you should go to his office and talk to him. I'm sure you'll like it. It also shows that you care. That's true. You know, I'll just use this opportunity to go and visit him at his office and um, speak to him. Yeah. Wow, Greg, thank you. Thanks for the You're advice. Welcome. I'll take my leave. Sure. With the urgency. Are you okay? I am I'm fine. It's just I want to clear something with you. Okay. What is it? It's about Bob. Where exactly did you say he works again? OZ construction. Why? 
because I visited Ozi Construction since his phone has been off. And there was no one by that name working there. Okay. I know him to work there. But... <laughs> it is... <laughs> if there is doubt, I think only him can answer these questions. Marie. Yes. You're my friend. And I want to believe that you will not intentionally lead me into trouble. Like you said, we are friends. And I will not knowingly put you into trouble. See, Bob is my friend and I like him. And I know you like him too. So if there is any doubt, just clear it out with him. Call him, talk to him, meet up. He will clear your doubts. Trust me. Well, I sincerely hope so because I've fallen in love with him. Oh. Yes, and I don't want to regret my actions. And you won't. You won't. Is that why you're sad? Can your face like this? There's food in front of you, you're not even eating it. <laughs> my dear, let there be no waste, says the Lord. This day, you does not even send me again. You does not even take care of me. You just the phone busy. Busy. Now phone was even busy. Man no good. Man for you, you do on point for this one. Eh? You know, blame me. Since we mama yours come. Ha. You all full grant, you arrange yourself. Now so so work at the work. Cleansing, cooking, all those things. Now they do. You don't blame me. Eh? But you see, see, eh, 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 this to mama, ma, mama, mama coming. I, I, I like him. I I'm telling you, thank God that she, 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 she come. Because at this, that Bob Michael or Bob, 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 Bob this thing, with that, that in 3000 was it, uh, Afro, we mm. had no day. Mm. You don't keep away for some time now. For now, we'll never see him. Man, for you, you did on point for this one again. You did on point. Because that uh, Bob, Bob Risky, I mean, oh, a Bob, no. Bob where he oh, say oh, name. I don't know. That one. That guy not be better person at all, though. The guy not good, he will not pure. You, you see, you do, it does not even need to tell me. I does not even need to enter inside to know. Uh, you see, that, 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 I does not even like him. Huh. He's very, very annoying and very, very pom pom pompous. Pom, pom, pompous. Yes, pom pompous. Pompous. Man, for you, I now know this English way you just speak so. <laughs> but what do me I know be say that guy? The guy will not pure. The guy all they do like snake, all they do conny conny. That guy, you not correct, not be better person. I know, I know like him. Yeah, but what I don't understand, women like this, hmm. they could just want to settle anywhere. They does not know whether inside the fire they are in settling or if it's inside the flying plant. Hmm. Very, very sad. See, man, for you. Me and you, the we say, eh? go with your borrow, madam. Eh? Me go your borrow and sense. Me go your knack and one kind better, eh, spectra, spectra. Go, 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 go. Go, Me go your knack and sense. Me, you know, say this, eh, uh, eh, uh, Bob, Bob Risky guy. Eh, uh, say the guy not pure. Say the guy just come, make your come steal, come kill, and me come destroy her. Women like this, I, I, I do not understand. They, they, they just want to settle anywhere. They do not know whether it is inside the fire or inside the fire pan. They just, just want to settle. They just want, want to enter. Hmm? If you if you reason away, if you ask me, Madam, get three beautiful children. Huh? Ah, you know they see them. They are fine, they are all they bounce. Bouncing baby girls. Now their head, now their head, they, they, hey. they love my blend. So they all arrange, all full grind, all they bounce like, hey. like ball. Eh? Three bouncing baby girls. Now my dad see the fine man. If you ask me, I just make your bone man, make sure they flesh alive, they go. Yeah. Make sure mm. they enjoy. Mm. No, 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 talk, no, talk that one. Don't talk that one. See, my, my age. Marriage is not only only about, uh, about uh, uh, marrying and, and burning children. Mm. Yeah. You don't, you, don't, you don't know that there is. You don't even talk about kiss, kissing and the and the smoothie. <laughs> yeah, 
they call it a companionship. Confirm. And that that is what I, I think that she's lacking now. And she better find that man and settle down, find that man. Instead of using this thing, come the share lamp oh, oh, from here to here. No, see that thing go there very, very late. <laughs> Mount Prayo! The English companion, she always cut on my head, all the boss, my dad. I didn't hey. need to know now. Mount Prayo, Mount Prayo. <laughs> I agree mm. with you for that one. You see, no problem, Sha. Me, my dad, yours. Take care of herself. Me she, me she flex. If you ask me, madam, still young. You not sure she frying. You're fresh and you like to the bread. Not the see, madam. Hey. Hello, me, madam, you all package yourself where. Well. Me she all the flex. Me she flex. Me she forget man. You hey. see, madam, madam, me, 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 you calm down and look very well. Madam, don't even know that if they remove this thing where you see where we are now, give me a madam. Ah, no. To God, I go, I go find pass, pass, Bobby Sun Kocha. Yeah, if you be saying I mean more than the fine Jeff, you no go know because of this thing where I was. Sure. Uh, stand down. You. Hey, man, for you, I no agree with you for this one. See all the other two way you talk, you do on point. But this one way you talk so, you know, you know, they on point at all. I no agree with you. Come on, here. Why uh, everything point, point, point? Eh? point. You be point thank you. You know, see, Madam, I see like Mr. Big's bread. You know you're the on point for this one. Ah, ah, see fresh, madam. Fresh Mr. Big's bread for Agege bread. No, you're trying. It's with that. Hey, Mori. What's up? Your ass will be the one up if you don't come up with a good excuse. Excuse for what? You just went to OZ Construction Company today. To look for you, and she was told no one like you walks there. But well, what did she have to do there? You told me she, she's not that kind of person. So oh, if you have left your phone on all day, she won't have any reason to go there. Oh, well, I have family too. Hmm. Anyways, um, you know, I have family too, right? And I had to give my family time and attention. Besides, my wife was beginning to suspect my, uh, my constant travels, and I had to do something to get off my back. Oh, well, your few days of happiness are about to ruin everything for us. Not really. Oh yeah, I know what to do to get her off my neck. Can't forget she ever went there. Besides, she's into me. And she's dumb. Mm. For both our sakes, I sincerely do hope so. Calm down. I'm still Bob. <laughs> and she's already in love with you. She has no choice. <laughs> Do you want to order for anything? I oh, know, I had a shoe on my way here. Is fine. Well, if everything is fine, why aren't you sleeping? It's late. Mommy, man got up on You know, when a mother misses her son, sleep becomes a luxury. But when she misses her grandchildren, sleep becomes a stranger. I know, Mama. I miss the girls too. I miss them so much. You do? Yes. If you do. Why did you decide to send them to a boarding house when you and their father decided they would not go to any boarding school? Or is someone influencing your decisions towards them? Well, I admit that a few people told me to do so, but my mother, the decision was entirely mine. Yes, we agreed not to send the girls to a boarding school, but that was three years ago. Then there were 
young and not strong enough to be away from home. And then their father was around to assist me. But Mama, he isn't around any longer, and everything rests on my shoulder. I can't keep an eye on them always, and that's why I had to make this decision, Mama. Believe me, it was very tough. But keeping them here and not having time for them is not what I want for them. Mama, they need all the attention they can get. And I believe that by being in the midst of other children, they will not feel lonely that much. Hmm. You have a point there. But I would love to see them before leaving. I know. And which is why I've made arrangements for them to be over this weekend. Yes. They'll be here in two days. Are you serious? Thank you. This means a lot to me. Thank you so much. It's fine, Mama. I'm just really happy I can put a smile on your face. I'm so sorry I caused you any trouble. I'm sorry if I misunderstood your intentions. I totally forgot. You're still young and you have your life to live in your own terms. I loved my son way too much that I wanted you to preserve his memory in your heart. I'm sorry. It's okay. I'll never stop loving Andy. He was and still is my first love. I'll cherish his memory forever. With the children around Mama, how can I ever forget him? He was... He's my everything. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you to understand it. Where the hell have you been? And why has your phone been off? Well, I... I had to clear my head and I didn't want to bother you. Clear your head? What are you clearing your head from? And what is bugging you? I have been meaning to tell you, but... I just needed to be sure you won't get worried. What is it? I'm no longer working with OZ. I resigned. Really? Why? Since when? About a month now. They don't give me what I deserve. They don't even give me credit for my work. So I had to resign. I'm trying to open my own company. That's why I asked you for the loan, three million naira. You know, I already have a contract on the pipeline and I just need an office space. They're not willing to release funds to me or even approve the contract until I have an office. This is serious. Are you sure that three million will be enough? No. But I had to ask for what I know I can pay back. So how much will be enough? It's too much. Tell me how much will be enough. Five million. It's manageable. Okay, I would uh, make arrangements for you to get five million in like a day or two. Okay. Are you sure I'm not stressing you? You're not stressing me. I just don't like to see you worried. Why do I 
feel this way, Bob? Why do I feel like you're not being entirely truthful with me? I hope I'm mistaken, else this will not be funny. So, how have you been, Mom? I've been good. I'm, I'm doing very well. But I should be the one asking you how you've been. Are you feeding well? Are you happy being there? Are they treating you right? Well, fine, Mom, but it would be better if we're with you around. I know, but... Sweetie, right now, this is the best thing for you. For us or for you? <sighs> Come on. Do you think I like keeping you away from me? I don't. But workload is so much. And there's so much going on in my life that I don't want you girls exposed to. Like Bob, right? Uncle Bob, you mean? Let's not talk about it. We're here to spend the weekend and we can as well have fun and then go back to school. Exactly. That's what I want to hear. Let's just not talk about this and let's just have a good time. Come and hug mommy. Oh, my favorite girls in the whole world. Oh. <laughs> Attack! <laughs> oh my, you girls have a way of reminding me of my childhood. Oh! Oh my darling. <laughs> you always find a way to make us happy. Oh. We love you, Grandma. And I love you girls too. We miss you a lot, especially since we got back. I understand. It's about your mother. Not to worry. She's a smart person. She will find a way. I hope that happens soon. I have faith in her. We do, but... No but, my darling. We're not here to discuss your mother. I'm here to tell you girls your favorite bedtime stories. Yay! Okay. Once upon a time in a faraway land. Come in, the door is no locked. Good evening. Greg. Is there a problem? No, just a little problem, but if not handled well, you blow up in your face. What is it? I, I ran into an old schoolmate of mine yesterday. It happened that he works with OZ. He has been working with OZ for over eight years now. I tried finding out if he knows Bob, but he said no one by that name works at OZ. I showed him both pictures and he doesn't know him. Are you trying to tell me that I'm being deceived? Yes, ma'am. So because your friend told you this, I'm supposed to believe it? Not exactly, but I just thought you should know about it. Greg, what you're saying holds no water. No, please. You know what, it's... just go. Just, just leave. This is why you came here?
<laughs> what are you girls doing? I'm trying to press something for grandma. Grandma. I see. So nobody thought about me. We did, but we don't know if you will like it. Oh, come on, girls. You know I would love whatever you made for me. So why are you acting like I'm a different person? Sorry, Mom, we don't want to upset you. Listen to me. You girls are the most important thing that ever happened to me. I love you and I would always love you. So please don't ever misunderstand me, okay? We're not misunderstanding you, Mom. It's just that we don't know how to act when you're around. Be myself. Hey. Look at that. Stammering doesn't suit you, so quit trying. What the hell were you thinking? That you'd come into my life, defraud me, and get away with it? What? Huh? It's a good thing I found out earlier, but even if I had found out late, I still would have put you in your place. You're such a cheap man. What prevents you from working and making your own money, huh? You claim to be a man, but you're nothing but a skirt. Because <coughs> don't insult me. Oh, please, you already insulted yourself, and this insult should last you a lifetime. And you, Maureen, what kind of a friend are you? Beatrice, please, I, I, I'm as surprised as you are. I didn't know that Bobby is married and a fraud. Like you, he fooled me too. Right now, I'm so angry at him. And I'm supposed to believe that? You're my friend. You should know me by now. There's no way I would know about this and let it happen. I just wanted you to be happy and at peace. By That's bringing all. this fraud into my life was your best way to make me happy? Oh, please, for the love of God, I do not ever want to see the both of you again. No, oh, Beatrice, I, usually I didn't do this. So you're a fraud. Beatrice. anything to say to me. What can I possibly say to a loser like you? Eh? So now I'm a loser? Oh yes. You know what? 
you are very evil. In fact, you are the cousin to the devil himself. Mm. You sat down here and acted like you don't know I am married. Playing clean to everything that you masterminded. Oh. Oh. <laughs> what were you expecting me to do? Take the blame and lose my friend? Eh? You too, you are evil too. Uh -uh. We both wanted the same thing. All we want is to take her money and piece away. So why should I take the blame? Oh, so we wanted the why? same thing and you couldn't even share with the blame. You know what? I have learned my lesson. Bitches and witches like you are just straight way to hell. In fact, you are the traffic order at Hell Junction. Eh, hey, and you are the one that sets the open fire. Nonsense. As you feel like this, you should come back and carry your, your family picture. Come and carry your family picture. Nonsense. You don't just slow, slow, spoil everything for person, spoil business. It's okay, it's fine. Sit down. Cry as much as you want. I know you will not want to tell me why you're crying, but I know it has everything to do with Bob. You might be my daughter-in-law. I see you as my daughter. And I know you do see me as your own mother too. I did not support the idea of you looking for a husband before because I knew this would be it. Gold diggers will flock around you. You'll get confused and distracted. No, 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 but take your time to search if you want a good man. Marriage is like a non-stop moving vehicle. Once it takes off, it's off. It doesn't stop. And if you want to get down, you have to jump. And if you jump, you'll get hot. In order not for you to jump and get hot, you have to choose your vehicle wisely. And in whatever you do, you have to put the kids first. They are more important than any other thing. Hmm? It's okay. It's okay. time of the night your bag I, I don't understand I'm, I'm really sorry to disturb you this late ma but I don't have anywhere to go I can't even check into a hotel because I don't have much on me my father's illness really ate deep into my pocket uh, I still don't what happened to your house the owners of the house, they mortgaged the house and told us to leave since last month. I've been trying my best to get somewhere cheaper to stay and at least manage myself, but it's not been easy for me. 
Wow. I honestly don't know what to say. I don't, I don't know how I can help you. What I can do for you is you can at least spend the night here and then we'll talk more tomorrow. Okay? Thank you very much, Mom. Thank you very much. That's, that's fine. Come in. Please, I didn't know. See, to God, women, I didn't know that Bob was mine. How would I know? And I will come and do such a thing to you. It's not possible. See, I'm your best friend. I will not hurt you. I'm not hurt. Please. I'm sorry. Just say something. Just say anything. Say you are forgiving me. Please. Please, I beg you. Please, I'm sorry. Please. Please, Beatrice, say something now. Please. I'm sorry. Please. I know it's none of my business, Ma, but... I think you should not have forgiven her. Miss Morin is not a true friend. There is no way, in fact, I refuse to believe that she has no idea about Bob's intention from the start. She, she's, she's back to mess things up for you. You should be mindful of her. You're right, Greg. It's none of your business. And because it's none of your business, you should stay within the element. Water like fish. You continue like this, you'll dry yourself by yourself. Oh. Why doesn't she get it? Why? I don't understand. Why will not get with it? Madam, I mean, why does she allow people to use her? Hey, but you don't say madam to the trust person now. Nah. Eh? Hey, I ask you, now why the matter upon the Pepe you like this now. Why the para? You won't believe that she just forgave Maureen today. After everything. She considers Maureen a friend. Maureen! A friend! Hey, but you know say now, weakness be that now. Hey, you know say, Madame, now where should they fuck up be that? Hey, you ask me, oh, I will say, may we your help and manage this our weakness. May we come make sure say, anything without Maureen the plan. Say, no work. She told me to mind my business today. And that is exactly what I'm going to do. Mind my business. From today, I'm minding my business. You know resemble so for my eye. Do you you're the para? You know resemble so say you won't mind your business. Eh, oh last last, if you say you won't mind your business, you're there on point. But if you still can't decide say no one mind your business, ah, you're not there on point for that one. Thank you. 
Não vê se não. Eu vou finish com tá finish. Tô finish agora, não fico de sua mão. Something wrong with your car? Yeah, it won't start. And I've been trying to call my mechanic, but he's not picking up his phone. Should I take a look at it? Are you a mechanic? Do I have to be one to know about cars? No. Can I? car is working now. Uh, he can take you around for today but you still need to take it to the mechanic to change a few things. I will. Yeah. Well thank you so much. I really appreciate it. It's, it's okay. Wow. You know what? Oh. Benson. All right, Marvin. Very nice to meet you, Marvin. Um, I would love to see you again. Would you come by my office sometime? Why? <laughs> no reason. I just would love to see you again. All right, then I'll, I'll stop by. to come here well <clears throat> first off to thank you for the other day and um, I want to ask you what do you do for a living okay um, there's really nothing to thank me about and uh, what I do for a living I do nothing I'm just looking for money to set up my own pharmacy Pharmacy? Is that what you studied? Yeah, that was what I studied and I, I served someone for seven years, but he left me empty-handed. Wow. Mm. So heartlessness still exists. Hmm? So now that you don't have money to start up this business of yours, what do you intend to do? I don't know. I'll just figure it out. How then did you know about cars? <laughs> Whew, cars, you know, from time to time I walk out of a friend's garage. That's able to put food on the table for now until I find out what I'm going to do with myself. Okay, um, Marvin, Marvin, right? Yeah, Marvin. Okay. 
So Marvin, if I offered you a job in this company, would you take it? <laughs> Honestly, I I won't. I, I won't take it because it's just gonna keep me too busy from pursuing my dreams, you know. Yeah. I see. Mm -hmm. Oh, all right. Let's go, let's go. What are you doing? Yeah, sure. Um, can you wait for me in the car? I need to quickly grab something. Okay, okay but please don't do that. I won't. Just hurry up. Okay. Was that Marie's voice I just heard? Yes, uh, Marie, my friend. You still keep her as a friend after knowing the history she has with your husband. Mama, it's a simple thing. They had a relationship, things didn't work out between the two of them. They parted ways. It's very normal. Yes, but not with a jealous person like Marie. She's not a kind-hearted person. I don't like her around you. But if you feel she's not a danger to you in any way, then it's okay, but please be careful, okay? Calm down, Mama. I'll be fine, okay? You take right. care. You too. Bye. Take care. Bye. He's one of these independent kind of guys, you know? And he's cute too. Oh, it treats. <laughs> you mean with what just happened with Bob? You still want to go into another relationship? Blindly. And so soon too. Mm -hmm. Please, come on. Marie, who's talking about going into a relationship so soon? I'm only talking about the goodness of his heart, that's all. I hope that is just it. Because from the description you gave about this Marvin guy, I see another goldy guy in the pipeline. Listen, don't worry yourself at all, okay? There's no way I'd have anything to do with him. He's not my type. I sincerely hope so. That's true. Mm -hmm. You know what, let's just hurry up and go and do this shopping before it's too late. Let me put my shoes on. Again, ma'am. And why is that? Sorry, this is my friend Maureen. Oh. Hi, Maureen. Are you stalking my friend? I beg your pardon. What are you talking about? Why would I want to stalk her? Oh, so you can gather enough information and use at your own advantage. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Um, honestly, I do not know what you're talking about, okay? I'm a decent man. And I won't tolerate you talking to me in that manner. Wahoo! Wow. Beatrice, you see? He's beginning to show his true nature. This is the poor fellow you're trying to help. And here he is, now he has the mouth to talk back at me. Um, Marvin, um, you really have no right to speak to my friend rudely. She has every right to speak to me rudely. Listen, Beatrice, I, I, I don't know what this is all about, okay? I might be a poor guy, but I have my self-respect and dignity to protect. I don't remember asking you for anything, and I would never do that. Okay, so you guys stop all of this cheap popularity that you're trying to gain. Now you're insulting me too? Yes. And I would do that again without apology. Listen, I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't care about you. I don't really know you. If you want to get angry, find someone who has the time oh, for that. Oh, stop it, mister. Do you know we can actually get you arrested for this? Really? Yes. How are you going to do that? Call the police? Call the military? 
I will teach you guys manners before they even arrive here. What? All of you rich girls thinking that you own everything, whereas you don't even own yourself. Excuse me, Beatrice. You're disgusted. <laughs> ah! Did you see that? I told you. Beatrice, I told you. I told you he's a bloody gold digger. Come on, let's go inside. Can you imagine? to find out all there is to know about someone. Do you think you can do that within three days? Who? Marvin. If, if I may ask, why am I? Well, I want to know him well enough if I decide to help him. Oh, okay, ma. Um, I'll get on it as soon as I get home. What do you want this time? We have to act very fast. Beatrice is falling for another guy. We must not allow that to happen. She must not find a good guy. And ever. That's my business. Uh -uh. Oh, you want me to get involved so that when things go bad, you run away and put everything on my head? Uh -uh, now. Don't tell me you're still angry because of what happened that day. So I shouldn't be, uh, be, 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 be angry. Why the vest like woman like that? So I should not be angry. Eh? I should go and throw party for you. you. see, it's so funny how after everything that happened, you ran back to Beatrice like the good one, the innocent one, and I was now painted and labeled the bad one. By the way, what do you want from this Beatrice girl? You claim she's your friend, and the Beatrice I know will give you anything you want if you ask her. So. Why are you bent on seeing I'm happy? What is your business now? Eh? It's none of your business. No concern you. Let's just do what, uh, what, what, what concerns you. It is you. not my, bu my, my, my business and I should get involved in your madness. <laughs> so you don't want me to know the madness I'm getting involved in? Huh? <laughs> you want me to get involved in your madness without knowing what the madness is? Look, look for someone else that will go and help you do these things. Or better still, go to your bar left. I am not interested. Bob. Okay. Me. Do you know what you'll be missing? You will regret it all. <laughs> I would rather regret it. I get myself involved with you. Yeah. Do and get out of my car, please. Oh. But me, Maureen. You're wasting my time. Get out. I have things to do. Okay. Please. Open this car. Yeah, 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 yeah. See. Don't spoil my 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 Open my 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 See, see the gura gura where you, where you drive. I should get out of here. I, I, I don't gura. blame you now. You now, Okada, you jump from left and right. You jump from left and right. I don't know, Okada, see, 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 see,
from everything I gathered, he's a very nice guy. Loved by everyone in his environment. They all speak highly of him. He jogs every Saturday morning and works in a garage in his area from time to time. He's, he's the only son of his mother, who happens not to be in this town. Well, besides that, all in all, he's a good guy. That's good. Well, thank you very much. I think I have all the information I need right now, so thank you. Thank you. What happened? You haven't visited in a long time. I was just giving you space and allowing you to decide for yourself. But this remarrying thing was your idea. So why did you decide to leave me just when I needed you? Why did you stay away? I'm sorry, but you are doing well. So what do you have to say to me now? You have been a wise woman. Let your God lead you. From this early morning. I'm oh, sorry. Good morning. Good morning, Greg. I went out for jogging. I wanted to use the opportunity to see and speak with Marvin. And um, did you succeed? Nope. It's obvious he's still upset with what Maureen said to him, and of course, my reaction to it. He didn't even look at me twice. I can imagine. You no, know, he might be poor, but he sure has a lot of self respect. Yep. I witnessed that firsthand. I need to go and bathe. I feel so sticky. Mm -hmm.
Now when madame begin the job in the morning? Since she decided to fall in love. Love? Mm -hmm. Hey, you give me. Wait. I don't understand. This breaking is really giving me so. I don't understand. Madame has fallen in love with this guy called Marvin. You know the funny part? Even she herself, she hasn't realized it yet. Hey! Hey! Yeah. No carry me to you. You sure say this breaking news with the game so now confirm you. Sure say they on point. Ah, but you said no, say I know the carry me talk now. If I told anything, you go do on point. Hmm? How she feels now, eh? The feeling which she get for body. Even when she did with that, um, our dear Bob, she really feel that way. Hey, yeah, me for madam. Hey, I think I for her. Hey, but this is Bob Brist, eh? No, obvious. This is guy we say they love it too. Eh? You should say the guy na better guy. Say level pure. Say they okay, not be like that. Oh, 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 no, 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 no. This guy is a very good guy. Yeah. Guy, no, he's very, very good. I've, I've confirmed that. But the only kill every day that we see, you know, get money. Money? Yeah. Hey, money no matter now. Nah. As long as you say in love, madam, and uh, in a better person. Ah! The two of them, they're on point for this one. This love matter with madam, you enter soon. Hey, hey! They're on point. Karu, for the first time, you don't talk like who gets sense. Very, very, very on point. Talk and wear this time around. I don't like this way you talk so. Why the best? You can't talk with that one. I call it down. Then I was teacher of the knuckle, but me, me, not the carry me the other time. You see, not say I be on point person. No, not chop this thing quick. Now me, the go your work. How do you go work today? Eh, eh, not go work. Day here. No, no, say you supposed to even follow Madame good job. Me, you are Madame. Me, the protector of Madame. Madame, you go work today. Eh, eh. See that here, me the do gossip, gossip with me. You know, go work today. See, Greg, I, I might be a poor guy, but I won't allow anyone treat me like a nobody. Marvin, I totally understand how you feel. She made a mistake, and she has realized it. Now she's willing to make restitution for it. But you're not giving her the opportunity to do that. See, I love your madam very much, okay? But a rich woman will always be a rich woman. I know my place, and I'm not about to give myself some fake hope. Um, Marvin, you're a guy with principles, which is a good thing. But do not let your principles get in the way of a good friendship. What do you mean by that? I mean, give her the opportunity to say sorry. Ma, do you have a minute? What is it? Because I'm busy. I, uh, I have someone here to see you. Who is it?
the first time I ever had dog meat sauce. This was what it tasted like. Are you serious? <laughs> <laughs> this is so not up so Are you from where? Where's Karo from? Karo, where are you from? Ah, okay. Do you have any experience in Kalama? Ah, no. Karo, you'd be on point. Of course. <laughs> It is wrong of you to trust this guy. I mean, he looks like one of those people who will not stick to one girl. They jump from one rich woman to another. That's how they make their ends meet. <laughs> Come on, Marine. Marvin is not like that. Trust me, he's not that kind of person. I totally trust him. Hey, you barely know this guy. He could be a fraud or a cheat or even both. Well, he's neither. I know what I'm saying. I can read through him. But if you doubt me, no problem. It's okay. You just wait until I get all the book to shut you up. Till then. So tell me, what angle do you want this? Defamed. So you still haven't told me what we are doing here today. I mean, we could have had this dinner at yours. Besides, the food Carol cooks is way better than this one. That's true. But I wouldn't have been able to say what I want to say at home. And that's why I chose this place. Say what exactly? How I feel. About? You. I don't get it. Why? Okay, listen, uh, Marvin. I'm a very straightforward person, and I know that it is not in a woman's place to tell a man how she feels about him or ask him out. But I do like you a lot. And. I want to ask you to be in a relationship with me. However, you can say no. It's okay, but just whatever it is, don't regard me as a loose woman. <laughs> uh, 
Well, if you hadn't said anything, I still would have asked you. And yes, I do not see you as a loose woman. And in fact, I have more respect for you. Because you know what you want and you go after it. Wait, are you saying? Yes. I like you a lot too. And I want to be in a relationship with you. It's not a fling. A fling is for the unserious. Okay. <laughs> 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 Okay, girls, he's not a rich guy, but I like him very much. So I don't want you to create any drama for me, okay? Don't worry, Mom. We won't create any drama. We just want to meet him, please. Yeah, we do see you like him a lot. We just want to know whether he's a nice guy or not. That's all we want. <laughs> then try me. Girls, this is Uncle Marvin. Aren't you gonna hug an uncle? <laughs> hey girls, come on, you have to smile. Or do you want me to cry instead? Okay. <laughs> so I see you girls have been asking your mom a lot of questions. So here I am, threw them at me instead. Are you sure? Sure of what? Do you love my mom or you like her? Whoa. <laughs> you know, for a first question, I think that's rather too tough. Answer the question, do you? Hmm. Yes. Yes to what? Yes to I love her and I like her. Oh wow. <laughs> That's cheating. Whoa. Uncle, <laughs> <laughs> oh, we'll continue, please. Continue what you guys have to do to bed. Just one story. Alright, I'm gonna finish this chapter. And after that, you guys have to go to sleep. Okay? Mm. <laughs> Alright. The creature was standing straight on two legs and started singing and running around the farm. Ghost is here, you either run or die. Ghost is here, you either run or die. I will swallow you whole. He then picked up a garden egg and swallowed it whole. Monkey had heard of ghosts a lot of times, but he had never seen one before that day. He was very afraid. And the monkey said, Hey, whoa. <laughs> I want to wait for this ghost to swallow me whole. Should I die now? No way. He then started running. But a greedy rabbit laughed at the running monkey and then entered the farm. He stole all the crops he wanted and took them away in his sack, which he carried on his back. Good night. Oh. It's late, you have to sleep, all right? Okay. Good night, lovelies. Won't you hug me before you go to bed? excited this morning. What's going on? What's the secret? Are you hiding anything? No, mom, you're the one hiding something. <laughs> Me? I'm not hiding anything. Why would I hide anything from you? You introduced Marvin as your friend yesterday. So why are you not hiding something from us? But Marvin is just my friend. Mom, I know you're not going to tell us the truth. But we kind of like him. <laughs> what are you 
talking about? <laughs> No, I don't have much time. Um, I have a meeting with my boss in an hour's time. So okay. I don't know how long the meeting is going to last. Yeah. So that's why I said, let me just come drop this before I go. Open it for yourself. And see the contents in it. So that next time when I talk, you believe me. I don't understand. What is this all this? Just open it and see for yourself. You see? Wait. What is this? <sighs> How did you get this? Doesn't matter. Um, I have to rush for the meeting, okay? I I'll see you at home, okay? Um, just take it easy. I mean, I, I didn't want to bring this ball. She wanted proof. This is it. Just Take it easy, okay? Don't, don't just don't think about it too much. Just, just oh. I love you, okay? Just come on, don't, don't worry, okay? Oh. Hey, Beatrice, come on, love. I, I love you. Just take it, take it easy, okay? Hey, what are you doing here? I thought I said I was going to come check up on you when I finished cutting my hair. What the hell is the meaning of this? What is the meaning of this? Why confess what you don't feel? Marvin, I thought you were different. I thought you were different than the rest of the men in the street, but no, you're the exact same. I can't believe I fell for you. I'm so ashamed of myself right now. I'm so ashamed of you. You know, we're done. See, Greg, I don't know how she got those pictures. But I, 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 I can't even remember anything. See, I, I, I can remember that I, I went to have a drink in a bar. And the next thing I find myself in a hotel room in the morning. How, how do you explain that? I can't remember anything. I'm sure someone drugged me. They're trying to ruin our relationship, Greg. I mean, it, it's so glaring. Someone is trying to frame me up. Greg, see, you have to help me explain things to her. I beg you, please. I've heard all you said. I'll try to talk to her. I'll do my best, but I just pray she listens. She does, bro. Come in.
What do you want? I came to talk to you. Talk to me about what? Listen, Greg. If you came to talk to me about Marvin, then I'd rather you leave my presence this very minute. I'm done with Marvin. I don't ever want to talk about him. I don't ever want to entertain any conversation that has to do with him. Anyone that mentions his name would see the beast inside of me. So now leave. Now. You don't have to explain everything to Madame. She has refused to listen to anything I have to say as long as it has to do with Marvin. Me, I feel say me your liver first. Me, her temperature, your calm down. And when she talk to the para for the matter, that I sure say she will be on point to listen to you. Your wait, your wait for her. But just wonder who is doing this to Madame. Who wants both of them to break up? <laughs> Which kind of is the answer? See now, Madame, they do the thing to. I mean, our grandma be the one to. What do you mean? Hey, Ross. You don't know, say people wicked. See now. Now, Gamma Vina, they suffer the thing so. Say, cause say, now he they give something to drink, and now he they also carry go somewhere. So, we will not know. Make I ask you. It will say he could die for that somewhere where they carry and go. It will say, it will say they could kill him. People are wicked though. I have a point here. Eh? I have a point. <laughs> no, no, say, I deal point. Why drown yourself in sorrow when you can read in between the lines and get what you're looking for? Remember, I told you to be happy but be wise in your decisions. Search your mind and see if you took the right decision this time around. So what am I supposed to do now? Read in between the lines and get the answers to what you're looking for. Remember, Appearance is deceptive. Ma, good morning, Ma. Ah, ah, Madam, move this for me. I see my work quickly clean it to before I come prepare breakfast. Forgive me, Ma. Carol, I'm not in the kitchen because breakfast is late. Mm. I'm here because I actually want to cook for all of you. Madam, thank you, ma. I'm happy to do something now. That's fine. I know my way around the kitchen. Okay? Don't worry, go back and do what you're doing. Thank you, ma. Go. Yes, ma. I know a lot has happened since I decided to allow men into my life. First it was Bob and now Marvin. I still have a hard time accepting what Marvin did. But I'd like to hear your opinion because I know that these guys are more comfortable or more of themselves when they are around you than when they are around me. Um, um, madam, uh, if, uh, if you say make a talk, this this Marvin, uh, person, I I do, I does not know him uh, too much inside. Um, but uh, if you say make a talk, I I I will say that he's he's a very a very nice person. 
And he even get the respect for come on get the man. Like me. Ma. Why did they on phone for the matter where you talk to? I agree with them for the one. Eh, and I hope the priest they go you arrest the people who set Ogama up. Wait. Are you saying he was set up? Yes, ma. He was set up. Ma, Marvin went out to drink. And all he could remember was he woke up the next morning in a hotel room alone. He could not remember how he got there or what happened. All he could remember was that he was drinking the previous night. Are you sure of what you're saying? Yes, ma'am. I confronted him and he told me this himself. He said he didn't give me the chance to explain anything. He said, if you take a very close look at the pictures, you find out that he was unconscious in all the pictures. The lady was posing with him asleep. I brought this for you. Are you done with the file? Yes, I'm done. Okay. Thank you. He said he moved out of town today. According to his neighbor, he gave out some of his things before leaving. Go. 
So you just do that, say you don't see person, Abby. But I don't hear you, Amy, I don't hear you. You rich. Well, you know, say I know you care about you. I don't care about person like you. You're not your day on point. Ah ah. Ross, you know be better person. Only you know, you're selfish. You greedy. You can't say center on top. Only you, know, you. Ah ah. Who does that? Hmm. Now, this is the way you talk now. I know you're on point. Ross, that's not say. You don't cut t-shirts, say. Me, we know they trust people where we don't know. Ha. Huh. See, eh, me, I don't care what you think. I'm waiting you know think. Hmm? What's it you? Your madam. Too often I suppose they more carefully of enemy with your friend group. You understand? Hey, bros. I don't understand this. Which guy is the young You get sense of you? You go hear what? I don't know what you're supposed to add like this other than snail to this food. I don't understand why. Manageable. What now? Okay. I get it. You're still thinking of Marvin. <laughs> Thank God Marvin is out of town and out of your life for good. You don't know what God is saving you from. Me. That guy could be another Bob, or even worse. Men. Men. Hey! Like just wolves in sheep clothing. Look at them. You know, for the, from the first time I saw that Marvin of a guy, I never liked him. Something told me that that guy is not the right guy for you. Well, you know, I could not say anything. Because if I had said anything that time, you would not believe me. Because you were in love. I trusted him. But now, thank God he's gone and gone for good. I'm not free to, you know, concentrate on your business and your life until the right guy comes your way. We we'll screen him, we we'll investigate that guy very well. Because I don't want this to happen again. Mm. I just like your courage of you know, moving on. Because this is your meat, sir. You know, we are a very strong breed. Very, very strong. You. You're very strong, you know how to move on. Because these men, they cannot be trusted, trust me. Okay. Uh, so, um, Mr. Curran, I've gone through your designs with my team, and they seem to like them. I know they will like it. These are original designs made by me. 
Yeah, but the prices on each design need to be negotiated. We can't pay such a high amount of money on each design. It's not realistic to us. And we says I'm not open to negotiations and even discussions. Great. So um, I'll have my secretary um, make an arrangement for another meeting so we can talk much better. Okay. I hope you'll be available. It's when you to call us. Carrying answers. I beg your pardon. You're very beautiful. And you abuse us out of this world, and I'll do anything. So I appreciate it. Like I said, I'll have my secretary communicate our next meeting. Thank you very much. Yeah, fine. Fine, thank you. Like I, I don't even know what to say. Like how, how dare she? Um, let me let me call you right back. Oh, so now you're receiving flowers? <laughs> sure, madam me. Hey, <laughs> okay, ne. Now who know me for corner? <laughs> Brother, do you flower now for you? For me? Yes. Ma who sent it? I don't know, Senna. Me not day. I don't know. Hello to a beautiful woman. Who the hell is this? Madam, I don't know who the person is. Uh, Friday say na delivery guy. Now I bring a congate. I don't know who sent her. Hmm. I see. Or oh, trash it. Trash it. Trash it on point, ma. right to send me flowers. You're nobody or nothing to me. I'm a married woman and I do not take men flirting with me lightly. You were a married woman. We both know your husband is That late. is no excuse for you to send me flowers. And the fact that my husband is late doesn't make me less a married woman. Okay. Just, just chill out, okay? Just calm down. Please, just calm down. Sit. Please. Just sit. See, it's just flowers, innocent flowers. Why are you mad? Why are you so angry? Come on, tell me. Huh? Okay. I'm sorry. Okay, I'm sorry. Like, I'm really, really sorry. I promise never to send you flowers again. Does that make you happy? Karen, this is not a joke. I don't want it to repeat itself. Okay, okay. Yeah, copy that. Yes, boss. Not a joke. I think they will look very good on our Ankara. What do you think? Well, he sure has nice designs. Aside being a romantic, I'm sure he knows what he's doing. Definitely. I think I'll give him a chance. He has what we want. Does that include you? <clears throat> Greg, I am not a material girl. I'm a human being who's no longer interested in all of these games. 
I've lost focus since I returned. And I need to pull myself together and take a break from men. Welcome, ma. Thank you. Did the girls return today as agreed? Yes, ma. They did their room, they did sleep. Oh, okay. God knows the house needs them. I miss them so much. Yes, ma. You know what? Take a look at the designs. Let me know what you think. I need to check up on them, okay? Thank you, ma. Why didn't I see you? You always go missing when I need you the most. Please, come and speak to me. I need to ask you something. Please, Andy. I saw this dress and something tells me it is only made for a gorgeous woman like you with a perfect body, Karen. Because we can leave her for years, so that in the morning I'll give you. I see. Trash it. Ma? I said trash it! Open. Karen. Hello, beautiful. What are you doing in the office on Sunday morning? So now you're following me? Let's just say I care so much about you to know what you're up to. 
And of course, you know I can do anything for you. <laughs> wow. Lately, I've become your favorite subject. Honestly, you're totally worth it. Karen, you, you've made me understand that you're not a gentleman. You can't keep to your words. Meaning? Meaning, you made me a promise in my office never to send me gifts again. But then I guess you would lie your way to anything. There you go again. I promised you never to send your flowers. I never promised not to send you all the stuff. Karen, what do you want from me? That's the point. I don't want anything from you. I want you. Listen, I said it before and I'm saying it again, okay? I am taken and I'm not interested in any other man. Oh yeah, of course you might not be interested in any man, but I promise you, you will be interested in me. Oh, really? Wow. With a charm in your mouth, right? Watch and see. Today, huh? And they all they play the day happy. They all be on point. They on point. On point what? Are you stupid or something? Huh? Some stranger comes into my house and not only did you allow him access to my house, but you allowed him access to my kids? Sorry, ma. But mom. Will you shut up, Benita? Even you. When did you start playing with strangers? But mom, they said he's your friend. He's my friend? He is my friend? Don't I introduce you to my friends? Did I introduce him to you? Mm, but... No but! I don't ever want this repeated again. And you, if this ever happens, you no longer have a job. Hello, beautiful. I told you to stay away from me and you decide to get close to my daughters instead. Look here, Mr. Karen. If working with you, if doing business with you means having you around me and my family, then I don't want to continue with this madness. Stay the hell away from me and mine. And this should be the last warning. And if you don't listen, I'm going to have to get a restraining order against you. You see, you can get whatever restraining order. You can stop me from seeing you and those beautiful kids. But you can never stop my heart from loving you. I love you, Beatrice. 
I really do. And I'll do whatever it takes to prove that. What the hell is wrong with you? Which part of I am not interested in you or any other man do you not get? I am willing to wait forever and a day more if that what is going to take for you to be interested in me. But, but please, don't shut me out. Don't stop me from trying to win your love. You see, I will never hurt you. I don't want to force you either, but just, just, just let me try. And if it doesn't work out, I'll take it as God's plan. Oh my God, you're sick. You know that. I don't know what to do about him any longer. He practically stalks me. Oh well, from everything you've said about this guy, hmm, I think he's madly in love with you. Exactly. He's madly in love with me. That's where the problem is. It means his love for me in this is unstable. Come on, girl. You've had this, the misfortune of meeting two wrong guys. But here, the right one is standing in front of you. And you won't give him a chance. Marin, do you know what you're saying? Of course I do. No, you don't. I do. God, I just need a break. And you also need love. True love, they say, don't come knocking twice. But girl, yours is a miracle. First, it was Andy. And now, Karin. Don't let this one pass you by. Use your head. Girlfriend, I said, use your head. Tell me, cousin, what did Beatrice do to you to warrant this kind of hatred? It's simple. She took away everything I treasured. I mean, the life that bitch is living right now is actually mine. I was Andy's girlfriend back then. He loved me so much. But he was busy. I mean, he was growing the company then and had little or no time for me. But for just no reason, the mother never liked me. And she did everything to separate us. She's a loose woman. She doesn't deserve your love. No, 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 no. It's not like that. My love is. It's not like that. It's not as you think. Mama, why did you bring him here now? Eh? Do you want to break his heart? Please, please. And that was the end of my affairs with Andy. He traveled to Ghana the next week. Got married to Beatrice. But unknown to him. Beatrice is my friend. I visited Ghana and uh, met with them. I tried to rekindle what Andy and I had, but he turned me down. 
He told me Beatrice is better than I am. He rubbed it on my face, saying she's his choice. And that was when I told myself, if I can't have him, she too won't. If I know my cousin well, you had a hand in his death, don't you? Oh, a girl's got to do what a girl's got to do. Right. Beatrice didn't stop there, you know. She came back to this country to rob her new wealth to my face with her children while I still remain unmarried. So, I have decided to take away everything from her. Starting with her kids. Oh, see, okay. Let's go. Ever, ever. <laughs> Two. Ever, ever, one, two. Oh, lucky you. Oh, he won. Yes. Ah, uh, okay, okay. I should get along. So you think your way of winning me is through my kids? Wow. Honestly, the kids are just secondary. I love them and I enjoy playing with them. Whether you accept me or not, my love for them remains. Well, they're fragile, okay? And I can see they've taken a liking to you. Look, if you have no idea what you want, leave them out of this. They're not wired to be heartbroken. Hurting them is like hurting myself, and I'm very allergic to pain. So, what do you guys think about Karen? <laughs> Madam, <laughs> you ask me, you. me, I feel say that bros Karen is a better person. Hey, I also think say he love the girls and the girls they love him too. Because her mother, anytime when you come here like this, hey, you all they play with them everywhere and they all they happy. <laughs> Ma, among all the people when they come here, but well, aside bros, Marvin, you know, I feel say this bros Karen a better person. Hmm. Well, I I agree with her on this one. I mean, he has a way of putting smiles on our faces. In my opinion, I think he's a good man. Well, uh, if you ask me, I'll say you should give me a chance. I'm sure he will make you happy. No! We like him, Mom. Please, give him a trial. I'm sure he'll make you happy. I love him too, Mom. Please, make him our new dad. Appearance can be deceitful, you know. I don't know, but my hunch is telling me otherwise. Remember, Mom, you said Uncle Bob was a good person. And he turned out to be a bad man. So now, why are you saying Uncle Karen is a bad man too? No, Mom, I'm sure he's going to make you happy. Are you sure you guys want this? Yes, Mom! Okay. I'm 
Jones. I'm so sorry to have kept you waiting. I was in Um, it's it's fine. Waiting for you is totally worth it. Okay, so I'll just um go straight to the point. Um, Karen, I don't know. I know this is not the right place or time or manner to go about this, but I honestly don't know any other way to do it. You proposed a relationship that, if all goes well, would lead to marriage. I thought about it and um, I've decided to give you a chance. So, yes, I will be your girlfriend. Wow, this happened faster than I thought. You are headed for a good ride, Beatrice. <laughs> um, um, I'm just... Oh, yeah. Wow. <laughs> wow. Ladies first. Ladies first. Oh, yeah. So. Good one. Now, this is to a well to talk to her. Oh, yes. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> mm. I actually want that bitch to lose everything she has. And for making me kneel down before her. Oh, my, oh, my. That she would pay for. Yeah. Dearly, I, too. I totally agree with you. She will pay. To be honest with you, this woman has no idea what she has gotten herself into. And by the time I'm done with her, I promise you, I promise you this woman will be contemplating suicide. Oh. <laughs> I trust you. you. Yeah, I'm telling you, for real. I want you to start with the children. Make them wish never to grow up. Do to them what their mother would never see coming. Come on. Leave that to me, okay? I got this. Alright? Mm. My plans are still tactically intact. I trust you. Yeah, you have to. <laughs> yes. Oh, yeah. My partner in crime. <laughs> yeah, you're my crime mate. Crime mate for life. <laughs> Good day. <laughs> hey, good day, my favorite girl. Where are you going to? Eh, bros, I just woke up quickly buy something down the street. Sir. I'll walk now. Uh, uh, work is fine, work is fine. So, uh, how's my girls doing? Ah, they're doing fine, everybody's doing fine. Jo uh, Johnita and Benita, they don't go for their extramura class. Oh, okay. You'll be saying, Cynthia, she know you're there on point, but you know you're cajad at all. She know where. Uh, what is wrong with her? They, they say na malaria, they do her, but we don't give her something. Are you sure? You guys have given her some medication? Yes, yes. She'll deal with very uh, soon. Okay, okay. Uh, you know what? I'll go to the house and look after her. Like, you know, since she's there by herself, she can't be left alone by herself, okay? I'll go and nurse her until her mom's return. That one deal okay. point. No problem. Right. Uh, Friday, we'll open gate for you. Might quickly buy something. Okay, yeah. okay. I'll see you soon, alright? Okay. okay, yeah. Okay.